This is an exponentials and logarithms question. Give it a go first. If you get stuck on anything, then just skip forward to parts A, B, and C to see the hints that I provide. So for part A, let's just run through some of the key information from the question. So we're given a graph and the quantity on the y-axis is log to the base 10h and the corresponding value on the x-axis is log to the base 10 of m. And we're told that h is the resting heart rate of a mammal and then we are told that the mass m is in kilograms. Um, we're told there's a linear relationship. We can see that from the graph. We're told the y-intercept and we're also told the gradient. Oh, and of course we're given the equation, h is equal to pm to the power of q. So let's actually write this down, write that down here. So h is equal to pm to the power of q. And then we're trying to work out what p and q are to three sig figs. So my hint for this part would be to think about the fact that this is a straight line, we're given a y-intercept and a gradient for the straight line. How can we turn this into some kind of straight line so that we can insert that gradient and that y-intercept. To figure that out, you want to also think about the axes, the quantities that we have on the axes of the graph. So then what I would do is I would take logs of both sides of that equation. So log to the base 10 of h is equal to log to the base 10 of pm to the power of q. I can then use the multiplication rule on the right hand side to write this as, I'll change the order as well, log to the base 10 of m to the power of q plus log of p. And then we can use the power law to rewrite the right hand side as q log m plus log p. And then if we think about what's, what's on the axes of the graph that we have, this is y, log to the base 10 of h is y, and log to the base 10 of m is x. So then at the bottom of this equation, if we write this is y, this is x, this must therefore be the gradient, and this must therefore be the y-intercept. So then we can say that q is equal to the gradient, which is minus 0 0.235, and then we can say that the y-intercept, which is log p, is equal to 2.25. And then we just need to figure out what p and q are, but we already have q, P, you can work out by doing 10 to the power of both sides. So P is 10 to the power of 2.25. And when you type that into your calculator to three sig figs, you will end up with P being 178. We have P and Q, and our equation would then be H is equal to 178 times the mass to the power of minus 0 0.235. And that is part A done. So then for part B, we're told that a mammal has a mass of five kilograms, uh, it has a resting heart rate of 119 beats per minute. So comment on the suitability, suitability of the model for this mammal. So for this one, think about the equation that we've just worked out, think about the two numbers that we have, and see if it fits. So then we put them into our equation. We put one of them into our equation and work out the other. So I'm actually going to put in mass into our equation. So h is in equal to 178 times the mass, which is 5, to the power of minus 0 0.235. And this then gives us 122, approximately, which is about right. It's not too far off the 119, so it would be suitable. And then for P, so with reference to the model, interpret the value of the constant P. So we have our equation h is equal to pm to the power of q. So think about how can we get h being equal to p? And that will help you to interpret the constant p. So h would be equal to p when m is equal to 1, not 0. So if m was 0, the whole thing is 0. Um, so if m is equal to 1, then h will be equal to p times 1 to the power of some number. 1 to the power of anything is just 1. So h will then be equal to p. So what does this mean? Or how can we interpret this? Well, it basically means that when you have a mammal which has a mass of 1 kilogram, then the resting heart rate h will be equal to p.